Here are nine iPhone settings that you should shut off on your iPhone. Some of these settings are actually turned on by default, so you might wanna check your iPhone in this video. Let's go ahead and get started right now. Number one is background app refresh. So background app refresh is a feature where applications, even if they're not open on your iPhone, can still fetch data in the background, which will make the application faster, just a little bit faster when it opens. So I'd recommend shutting this off or at least setting it to Wi-Fi only, as it can save a lot of battery on your iPhone. Number two is optimized battery charging. So this is good for some users who charge their phone the slow method overnight with the very slow iPhone charger or with a wireless charger. But if you have say the iPhone 11 Pro that came with a fast charger, you may wanna consider turning off optimized battery charging as you may not be getting the full speed that your iPhone can charge at. Number three is to turn off ad tracking inside of Safari settings. So it's really creepy whenever you search for something and then a few hours later you see an ad for that exact same thing and Safari has built in methods to ensure that this doesn't happen when you're browsing the web. So make sure that limit ad tracking is turned on in Safari. For number four, you actually may not know that Apple is using your location a lot more than they should be. If you go into settings, you can see every single system service that Apple is fetching your location for. And honestly, they don't need to be using 75% of these. So I'd recommend going through this list and switching off the ones that you don't find useful. Number five is auto brightness. So in my opinion, recent iPhones have been very aggressive with the auto dimming of the display. And when I go into a dark room, my iPhone gets very dim, almost to the point where I can't even see it. And I wanna be able to turn off auto brightness, but it's actually hidden and it's been hidden for a little bit now in iOS. This is much better as it's way easier for me to just control the brightness manually inside Control Center. Number six is double notifications for messages. So if you go into settings and then notification settings, scroll down to messages, there's an option for repeat notifications. Out of the box, the iPhone sets repeat notifications for messages to once. So after that first notification, if you do nothing with it, your iPhone is actually gonna ping again for that exact same text. I find this very annoying. If my iPhone is gonna buzz again, I want it to be a different text message. So I would definitely recommend turning off repeat notifications for messages. So number seven is for those of you who have an iPhone with Face ID, if you go into passcode and Face ID settings, you can actually turn off require attention for Face ID. This makes it a lot faster to unlock your phone. With the setting turned on, your iPhone requires you to be looking directly at the screen. And if you have it turned off, if it just recognizes your face, it's gonna unlock. Number eight is read receipts inside iMessage. I honestly hate this feature and I don't like people knowing when I read their message, that's none of their business. So I definitely recommend turning this off inside of messages settings. Number nine is limiting cellular data for photos. So if you use iCloud photos, you may not know that your iPhone is going to use cellular data without you knowing it to update your library. And even though it's not gonna use a lot of cellular data, it can still use more than you would want it to. So I would recommend strictly shutting off cellular data for photos because you're not going to know exactly how much it's going to use because it doesn't really tell you in the settings. So I would restrict updating your iCloud photo library to Wi-Fi only. If you enjoyed this video, there are two other recommended videos on your screen now. I'd also recommend subscribing to my channel as I do upload videos about Apple almost every day on this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Michael and I'll see you in the next video.